What's good at you good J Stu back with another video for you and today we are checking out the ninja changes uh, for the Final Fantasy and Walker expansion and this is from the media tour that I was not able to attend because you see the you see the you see the clout levels you gotta we gotta change that. Let's by the next expansion let's be able to join this media tour our own way and be able to cover this. That'd be dope. Hit the like button, subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Also, check out Larry Z. I would not be able to see what's going on in Walker without these videos. Uh, so please check it out. It's going to be in the description down below and leave a like on those videos as well. So without further ado, let's get into this. I did see this already because this is my second time trying to record this. My mic, it wouldn't be a J2 video without audio problems of some sort. But basically, what we got here, so Dots, Dots for Ninja is completely gone. Uh, basically, we got a new uh, GCD global cooldown. We got a new global cooldown that not as good as Armor Crash, so just use Armor Crash. Uh, also, Ride Time looking looking sexy as hell. We got a three part combo for Ride Time. You use Ride Time once, and then you become the Ride You Ready shit. Then you use Ride You Ready, and you can use that twice, and it becomes a three part combo. It's basically Chidori. You're doing a Chidori combo. And the Shadow Clone also has a new AoE as well. And your your Datone has Snake Smile if you use uh, the, you know, the Star Shits. You know, I don't know. I forgot the name of that. Hashin Musatsu or something like that. Look, if you use this move, it makes your Datone get snakes and it's fire. But other than that, we're going to move on to the Summoner video because that's where I left off at before I realized my audio was cut out. But Ninja is, I'm sticking with Ninja. Ninja is great. Ninja's looking real fun in Walker. It already is fun for me. I'm not gonna lie. I just I'm very stressed when I'm trying to do a jutsu and then the boss just start doing shit, man. And all the mechanics start busting out. Like that's this is the most stress. You get the bunny of shame and it's a is oh I hate that. Please take it off. I don't want people to know that I messed up my shit. Please. I need to see some some engagement, some likes, and some subscribes so we can keep this hype train going. I'm so hyped for in Walker. I've been enjoying this game, hundred percent of the time. Uh, also, don't forget to check out Larry Z channel for making this possible in the description down below. Let's get straight into this summoner. <laughs> summoner. Indeed. Yes. Let's eat. Let's eat. Good old summoner. No longer a dot or ruin mage with summons on the side, but actual summons. Not okay. only that, but the new job gear is perfect. Yeah, I mean, that just, that look, looks so look cool. There's a lot that has changed. I mean, it looks so cool. Rework, that summoner gear looks amazing, but I always like take it. the but dickhead. First, I have a off. disclaimer. I was sponsored by Square Enix to try out this development build of Endwalker, and everything that you see here is subject to significant changes. I just want to keep this mouse ready because he's quick. Especially since a lot for of these them changes change throughout all of the jobs, I would not worry about them. But anyway, let's take a look. I love that First, picture. let's go over summoners' non-summon abilities. Okay. For single target, you have Ruin Three, which okay. is much faster and beefy now. Okay. Sky disaster for AOE. Energy drain and energy siphon still. Wait. Try disaster is AOE. Whoa. Okay. This is. Right. Because what would have try disaster? What would try disaster do if the dots is gone? Right. So. Oh, that's crazy. Try disaster is an AOE. Energy drain and energy siphon still give you two stacks of aether flow. Okay. Which you could spend on fester or pain flare. This also. So what does Fester do? Ooh, delivers unex okay unexpected damage with the potency of three hundred. That is fire. So okay and okay okay. So it still kind of works the same. You gotta use your Ruin three. Uh, well you don't have to use Try Attack now actually. Well shit, and you got Pain Flare, which is an AOE move. Okay. Oh God! Faster I love. Beefy. I'm gonna have so and much fun with summoner. For AOE. Energy drain and energy siphon still give you two stacks of aether flow, which you could spend on fester or pain flare. This nice. also gives you one ruin four, which you can use, which is now an instant AOE and big. And that's it. Everything else you're gonna be doing is summoning. Summoner has ah. two different kinds of summons: the demi summons like Bahamut and Phoenix, and then the new elemental summons like oh, Ufrit, snap. Garuda, and Titan. Bahamut and Phoenix will recharge your ability to summon the three elemental summons, and the overall rotation is gonna be a loop of Bahamut to. What the fuck? Okay. The three primals and Phoenix to the three primals. 
and whenever a summon is out, it replaces the spells on your bar. There are three new spells which are used solely for your summon's abilities. Astral Flow is for special abilities for every summon. Gem Shine is for single targets, and Precious Brilliance is for AoE. These okay. ones are used only for the elemental summons and have a certain amount of charges depending on which summon you have out. And Got the Demi it. Summons will replace Ruin 3, Tri Disaster, Astral Flow, and Enkindle. During Bahamut, you have Astral Impulse for an instant single target. So, and we're gonna need to redo everything you also get one death flare and two akmorns oh yeah and he does all of his auto attacks on his own you don't have to activate them and he doesn't follow you around like a lost puppy anymore he will stay still each summon does a big with two g's aoe ability when it comes out so efrit's abilities are high potency cast times and a gap closer melee combo you have two charges available okay so hold up right, single target or Ruby this is a lot to take in Okay, so this is okay. So that's that move he was talking about, where it's the single target version and the AOE. Okay. Then you have Crimson Cyclone to dash into the boss, which this is nuts. Crimson Strike. Summoner is, is oh my AOE. god, is looking so then amazing. Titan's abilities are about weaving medium potency instant spells with off global. You have four charges available for Topaz Right, a single target instant, or Topaz Catastrophe, an AOE instant. And after each one of those, you're able to weave in Mountain Buster between them, uh, and then you, you do a little clap. clap, clap, clap. Garuda's clap. abilities are lower potency, but gotta go fast, super quick instant spells, along with a casted floor AoE. That's right, we kind of have Shadow Flare. You have four charges available to use on Emerald Right for single target. This is so dope. Summoner is AOE. literally you Summoner. Stream to hard cast, which leaves an AoE on the ground, so make sure the boss isn't gonna move out of it. And finally, you have Phoenix to finish it all off. Phoenix will also do its auto attacks automatically and still has the AoE regen. You have Fountain of Fire for instant single target and Brand of Purgatory for instant AoE. It's no longer a one-two combo. There's also two revelations, just like before, and there's a new ability called Rekindle. It's a 200 potency cure on any target, and it grants the Rekindle status. When that mm. person's HP falls below 50%, or if the timer wears off, it'll trigger Rekindle and give them a 200 potency regen. Such flavor! Besides Whoa. those, we also have two carbuncle abilities, because we couldn't forget about you, little guy. Radiant Aegis is a 20% HP shield on yourself and has two charges this is very good because i die a lot and devotion right. becomes searing light a three percent i'm I, I, I totally agree I, you say you speak my language hold on you little guy radiant aegis is a oh my god summoner man ninja or summoner this is i'm gonna have, i'm gonna be lost i'm gonna be stuck on this game becomes searing light a three percent damage buff to everybody but for this is my favorite range dps ninja is my favorite melee dps i think i got it all also, there's a funny little tidbit. Uh, when you're below level 90, uh, you summon Efrit, Garuda, and, and Eggies instead. Uh, so the little Chimkin Nugget will come out and do a little rock attack and, and disappear. Still what? can't believe we get to use Titan. And when you're even Are lower you than that, you have different versions of some of these spells. Like, without Bahamut, you have Dreadrun Trance. And before even that, you get Aether Charge and Carbuncle Summons. Yeah, Summoner's going to be very interesting, even at Very low interesting. So what do you think? I freaking love Whoa. it. Uh, trying to do the rotation yeah. in the little time that I had, I felt like I was always summoning something. Actually, there's basically no filler at all. Some people are concerned that Summoner became too trivial, but I think that actually I was pressing a wider variety of buttons more often than I did before. Keep in mind oh, right God. now we have three buttons that we never use, the Summon 3 Eggies. But in this version, we're pressing those buttons all the time. And also, the rotation contains choices. And where there is choice, there is complexity. Oh God. I think Uncle Ben said that. We are finally true summoners, and I am a very happy summoner. I am, me too. Thank you so I cannot much wait to spend hours in the lab with this. Job changes are out now, so check but, out the oh my god, I'm gonna have to go to Palace of the Dead the from level one all the way up. That was fire. I thought I heard somewhere that you can choose, right, which one that comes out, but upon taking a closer look, it looks like it cycles through of them. It, it cycles through the three primals. So, it starts off with Bahamut, and then it turns into, it looks like it goes down this row. It started turns into a freak, then it goes into, then it goes into, you know, and then it turns into Phoenix. It feels like, I thought you could choose which one you, maybe you can, maybe I'm not looking at this right, but 
if you look, I'm still excited to play Summoner either way because I, uh, I did not like the dots. I mean, I like dots. There's nothing wrong with keeping them up, but just like the try disaster, knowing which one to use try disaster, try not. Like, I don't know. I'm so glad they removed that and they just made it more scrappy. I'm liking the more scrappiness of Endwalker and less dots. I mean, I, like, I, again, I don't mind dots. It's not that big of a deal because. It's like it's there or if it's not, but I am more more than happy with the summoner changes. I'm more I'm about to be grinding on some. Whoa, that is pause. But anyway, <laughs> let me know what you guys think on the comments down below. Don't forget to like both of these videos in the description uh, for the other video. Uh, this is looking good. I'm just keep going and reacting to more of these reactions. But by the time you see this, I'm probably gonna be done reacting to all of these. Don't let the end just get you. <laughs>